Hello, hello. We are here at 196 Roberta Drive. Four bedrooms, three baths, 2,900 square feet. Listed at 699.9 at 241 a square foot. It has been uh, totally renovated. Uh, we have uh, beautiful painted brick, brand new roof, a cedar shake, a small front porch, concrete walkway. All looks good. Some minimal landscaping and a beautiful front door. Uh, we walk in the front door and we come right into the family room and kitchen with a eat-in dining area here. Uh, to the left of the front door is a coat closet. Ta-da! Everybody needs a coat closet. Um, so small living area up here in the kitchen, big, huge island, a little wine rack action going on here. Got a beverage cooler here, got a brand new French door refrigerator, Samsung here, all new appliances. All of these are Samsung. They didn't, they did the top level buttons on these farmhouse sink. They didn't do the backsplash. So that's something you'll get to do. Um, everything's gray here. So you better love gray. Um, nice cabinets, uh, dovetail, uh, solid wood here. Pretty granite. And the three, three bedrooms upstairs, there's one bedroom on my left. It's a pretty good sized room, large closet, double doors, uh, brand new windows also, uh, vinyl, double pane, probably double hung, look like they're double hung. The bedroom across the hall is, is here. It is a tub shower combination and um, it is tiled. Okay, got a pretty door and everything. And uh, holy cow, the bulldog is right there. Look out, look out. Uh, nice uh, hardwoods here. They, they are of a gray tone themselves. Fancy that. Uh, bedroom number two is is here. Similar setup with a large closet there. Uh, the master bedroom is not very master, but it's big enough. Uh, it's got two windows in it. It's got one pretty big closet like the, like the rest. And then its bathroom is, is here, and it is a walk-in shower here. Uh, very, very low curb. Very low curb there. Uh, single basin uh, there. Looks like a new commode. Again, new everything in here. attic access in this hallway. All right, we're gonna step outside on the upper patio, which has some sliding windows on it. It's got electricity, it is not conditioned, uh, but could easily hold a portable air conditioner out here. Uh, is set up for a ceiling fan here. There is also uh, an exit to this exterior deck, which is nice. Uh, the gutters and soffits are vinyl. And uh, you've got a carport here and then the two-car detached garage over there. 
All right, I'm going to take you down to the basement. The stairwell to the basement is open, so there's no doors going down to the, no door going down to the basement. We walk down into the basement into another uh, living area, family room, and it has a suspended ceiling. Of course, has vents in running through the suspended ceiling. It's a pretty large area. I can see um, a sitting area over here, um, maybe a, a table over here. This is just a, it's got water and a beverage cooler. Um, to the left of the beverage cooler is enough room for a small fridge and you could do some hot plates uh, down here. You could possibly um yeah i don't see a great place well you know what i guess you could bring right in here a stove right there you could set up a uh, drop-in stove right there uh, but you'd have to figure out venting or you'd yeah you'd have to figure out venting on that anyway uh but a uh, stove uh, hot pads and a microwave go well there okay and as you might guess right above the upstairs uh, screened in porch is another screened in area that again goes out to the carport so this would be easy access for parents if they were to live on the basement level they would be able to come in and out, go to doctor's appointments, get get around and everything. Um, so the disadvantage to me uh, is that we've got the laundry room downstairs. That's that's one disadvantage. But again, mom and dad have that opportunity to do theirs uh, there. Um, there's a small closet here. This is the uh, what we're going to call the bedroom. And again, it's got access to the outside, so that makes it easy there. It's got two big closets uh, down here. Uh, the uh, HVAC is in here, and uh, that looks pretty new. looks real new. Um, so, so there's that. And then a closed closet here the downstairs bathroom is here again a small bathroom but pretty pretty nice with i think the same yeah it's the same shower setup and everything with a very low curb there all right we're going to go outside this direction we're going to Look outside. Okay. So here's the uh, carport where you uh, pull under. Uh, there's a two-car garage here. It's a, I believe it's just a garage. I could not get in the pedestrian door, uh, though there seems to be enough room for some workbenches. I'm looking at it from a car perspective. In fact, um, you may not even put cars in there. You may put, uh, I don't know, like hot rods or something, whatever you got. Uh, sloping down to the lake. Here's where we just take a deep breath and enjoy the walk. <laughs> 